hi my lovely viewers thank you for coming back to watch my channel again i'm so humbled thank you for subscribing to our family is increasing each day and that makes me so happy if you are new to this channel you're most welcome this is the right place to be meet you the like mom here deborah and is my name i created this channel to give my viewers hope and encourage you to be optimistic no situation is permanent once you choose to work with god everything is possible so if in case you have not subscribed consider to subscribe feel most welcome let me share this journey of hope together uh, today our sharing is about the topic from beyond the grief to the act of hope and kindness that is our sharing from beyond the grief to the act of hope and kindness is our sharing so, but before that, let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for the gift of life. As we want to do our sharing, we ask you to bless us, help us, so that it can have a great impact into our lives. In Jesus' name, we pray and believe. Amen. My viewers, I know there are some people right now, as we are speaking right now, this, this person who is, what is seeing next is just a grave. They have lost hope. They are just waiting for the day for them to die because life has become so hard and they have no hope, they have lost it. So what they see next is a grave. Maybe you are expecting a baby, you have miscarried, you have been left at the hospital, even your husband may have just disappeared and now you see that this is the end. Or maybe you were born well, but you got an accident. Now you are bedridden. You can't feed yourself. You are depending on people. Or maybe you lost a job that you used to get enough uh, good money. Even your employees now have run away because they, they don't see hope in you. So maybe anything, you've lost all your family members. The next thing you see is a grave. Today I have good news to you. By the end of this hearing, you'll be able to see that Behind the grave, this uh, act of hope and kindness. This is uh, our key verses from the book of Second Samuel, chapter nine, verse seven. That is where we are going to do our sharing. You know, King David. This story is that is where we are going to base our sharing. Uh, for those who have been following my teachings, I had talked about the friendship between Jonathan and and David. It was real. So, but there is a time David made a promise to God that his God is not going to leave Saul's generation to to die. He was going to keep it growing. Even he promised Saul when Saul accepted the defeat that David will succeed him as a king. David promised that he was not going to leave the generation of Saul to die. So it has it reached a point that now David wanted to get remember Saul and his sons, all his employees, most of them got killed. But it reached a time now David remembered this promise that he had made to God and decided to know if there's anybody from Saul's family who is alive so that he can continue the generation of Saul. So that is when he sent for one of the servants of Saul who had left was called Ziba. He called him and asked him, is there anybody in Saul's family who is alive so that I can I can give him what belongs to the to Saul, to the generation of Saul. I want to help. I want to give back to Saul. And then uh, this servant told uh, David that this a son of Jonathan by the name Mephi, but he is crippled. Then David sent go and call him. So Mephi, this he was his name was long. I decided to shorten it is Mephi Poshethi. So Mephi, let me call him Mephi. So he was proud to King David. Let me read the key verse. That is Second Samuel chapter nine verse seven. Don't be afraid. David replied, I will be kind to you for the sake of your father, Jonathan. 
I will give you back all the land belong to your grandfather Saul, and you will always be welcome at my table. So, this Mephi, this is the son of Jonathan, who was brought to David. Then David told him, I'm going to give you all the land that belonged to your grandfather Saul. At least, this is the person who had lost hope, this Mephi. And to take you back, this, this son of Jonathan, he was born a normal son. But now, when, when people were killed, his nurse dropped him down. That is when he became crippled. He was a normal child. So he became crippled. He suffered. So he was waiting to die. He didn't have any, any other hope. So when Saul called him and told him he was going to give him the land that belonged to his grandfather Saul, he told David, Why do you do this, this good to me? I'm just like as a dead dog. But David told him, You know what? I'm going to give you to that land but you are always welcome at my table you are not going to go to to that land servants will go work for you and they will bring food here so you will be with me throughout so this man a son of jonathan remained in jerusalem with king david he was eating with king david at the table every day beyond the grave this act of hope and kindness what do we learn from this story you have been pained, you've been crippled, maybe your heart has been broken, it is not physical, you cannot be physically crippled, but your heart is crippled already because your heart is broken, you've lost your job, you've lost all your family members, you don't have any hope, what you see is just a grave, you are waiting for your day to die, so you are seeing a grave ahead of you, I want to give you hope that there is there is hope and kindness beyond the grave. Even if you see yourself as a dead dog, like the same way this Mephi was seeing himself as a dead dog, he didn't see any value. Maybe you have sinned and you see that you have no value. God might not forgive you. You have done evil things that will never be forgiven. The same way David welcomed Jonathan his son, in the same way God is going to welcome you and say, you know what, Deborah? For the sake of the blood of my son, Jesus, you will be forgiven and we are going to dine with you in the table. You are welcome in the table that is in heaven. You know, imagine if this deep was just a human being and I told you, Matthew, you know what, even if you are crippled, for the sake of our friendship with Jonathan, you are going to live with me and we are going to share the same table. So, you know, this uh, servant Ziba now went to work as the servant. This servant of Saul went with his sons and other servants to work in this land for Mephi. So, Mephi remained with David. So, I just want to give somebody hope that you were dropped. Maybe you have been divorced. Don't see the grave. Just see hope beyond the grave. Your children, your family members have died. You don't have any hope. I want to give you hope that God is there for you. Because of the blood of Jesus, you are not going to be left alone because God is waiting for you. Come to him, repent your sins. You will share the same table with him. Don't be discouraged with life. You have a dream, you got an accident, you were born no more. But because of the circumstance, now you are bedridden. You are begging. You can't do anything for yourself, my friend. There is hope beyond the grave. Don't see the grave. Just see hope that your time is coming. The same way Mephi, Mephi had already lost hope. Imagine. Some people can drop you. The same way this nurse, this nurse who was taking care of Mephi dropped Mephi and, Mephi and didn't see any future. People can drop you because they don't see any future in you. Your employees may run away from you because you've lost any, everything you had due to the pandemic and they think that you will never succeed. I'm here to tell you that there is hope beyond the grave. So what we need is that let's have faith. Let's have faith that God is waiting for us. He will call us. The way, Saul, the way David called this 
he he just sent for this person to be called god is calling us like you know what you are my remnant you need to come to me we are going to share the same table even if you see that you have sinned a lot i'm going to forgive you and we share the same table so if you like this video thumbs up you can subscribe to this channel for more sharing may god bless you so much see you next time bye